you don't want to have happen is you don't want success to equal pain. Anytime success is now equal in pain, you, you have a problem. Okay, and that's the real problem. The real problem is I can't find anyone. The real problem is we're trying not to grow. The real problem is, is right now, guys, success is equaling pain for us. Guys, now I'm running a business, right? First I was just kind of doing a technician. I was kind of doing this other stuff. It's like now I'm running a business. So the levels of leadership are like, okay, first I was kind of like a doer. Then I was kind of like a seller. Then I was um, kind of like helping others do and sell. Then I was kind of managing. And so now you're kind of leading a team possibly, but you don't want to lead a team, you want to lead leaders. So you're also making sure you're creating and building, developing leaders all underneath you. And then that's where you get our Leadership Accelerator program is focused on hands-free leadership, where it's literally running just as passionately and as well without you, without you touching it and getting involved. I hear that where it's like, hey, you know, it's hard to find good help, right? Everyone would probably nod their head in this room. I can tell you I've, I've, I've clients where there's, that's not a problem at all. And it's not about where you live. It's about building a culture that pulls in and attracts the right people. So I have one in South Florida. Four years ago when I started working with them, they're at three and a half million. Guess what they're going to do this year? $31 million. Okay? Four years ago, they're at three and a half. Now they do plumbing, electrical, heating and cooling, right? They're doing all, all those trades now. And what we're able to do with their CSRs is when you call in, we're booking for plumbing, we're booking for heating and cooling, we're booking for electrical, and we're selling a club membership over the phone, boom, like that. But it's not pushy, it's not forceful, and it's not throwing it down people's throats. Thank you for calling Stanley Cooling Corp. This is Jeremiah. How can I improve your day today? I don't know if you can, Jeremiah. Absolutely I can. You might start feeling better and not even know why. What's going on? What's happening? He's like... Holy crap. And by the way, if I call the other shops, how do I now stand out? You get a greeting like that where they're high energy, they're excited, they're like, we love you, we want to work with you. Yes, you got problems, awesome, tell me about them. Versus like, what happens? Like, hey, hey, how's your day going, Twan? He's like, ah, it sucks. You're like, oh, okay. And you're walking off, right? Doesn't that happen? You're asking people how their day's going, as soon as they say something negative, what do you do? You're like, <laughs> I'm out of here, <laughs> right? What you'd want to do is be like, oh my gosh, it sucks. That's crazy. Tell me what's happened. What happened? What's going on? And you're passionate about it. So the first step in our call process is called hallelujah. Hallelujah is, is literally praise God that this is happening right now, okay? Whether you believe in God or the universe or the great spirit or mother nature, whatever it is for you, I call it God. Call it whatever you want, okay? I'm not going to get caught up in a term. I'm just going to get caught up in what is. Thank you. Yes, you're calling. This is awesome. Whoa! And you're excited. And they're feeling that energy. Versus what? <laughs> right? Who dis? <laughs> like I've heard all kinds of stuff. <laughs> what we want to do is anticipate that when they call, they want love. They want energy. They want passion. So we're just going to deliver it. So I'm sitting strong. I'm answering strong. Now here's the thing. People will start out that way. And then someone will say something negative or pissed off or whatever, and they withdraw and go like this. What you don't want to do is you don't want to withdraw. Guys, let me teach you a principle right now that you know, but you may not have thought about it in the way that I'm going to share it. Here it is. I would write this down. The only time you feel pain, the only time you feel pain, the only time, don't write it three times, just once. <laughs> the only time you feel pain is when you withhold your love. You've seen teams or performers, their body language tells you they're going to lose before they lose. Is that true? You guys get what I'm saying here? You've got to have the strong winning body language now. And you've got to keep it even if things aren't looking good. Is this making sense? So you just got to think that way. Everyone's a client. Everyone's a customer. I'm going to book this. It's just done. Like, see it before it is. And keep your body the way that you would stand as if you just closed it. And stay that way the whole time. Anytime you get frustrated over the phone with a customer anywhere, you're about to have a breakthrough. It's beautiful. You start getting pissed, great news. You're about to have a breakthrough. This is such a powerful lesson. 
Okay, because if you learn this and you get this, you will grow in the very moment. If you don't, you're going to suffer for 5 or 10 or 15 years until you hit rock bottom. And it's like, enough. Never again. Like you make a decision, right? And you move forward. But you don't have to wait 5, 10, 15 years for all that pain. You can just choose right now. When you get frustrated, you're about to have a breakthrough. Get ready. And it will happen. Confusion means what? About to learn something. Confusion means what? About to Help him out. <laughs> confusion means what? About to learn something. Awesome. When you're confused and you're like, what in the what is going on? Yeah, you're about to learn something. It's perfect. Sure. Anchor that deep. Our shops that we're working with are absolutely destroying it. And guess what? They are not having a problem finding people. Because when you build a culture that starts pulling people in and attracting people, think of your best employee. So I say, Brett, think of your best employee that you've ever had. They may be with you right now. They might not be with you right now. Think of them. What if you had 20 of them? What would that do? Okay. Because I got so much on my plate to get it done and not enough time and I just get... I almost get like in a panic mode when I'm there and I'm like, what do I do? Man, I gotta stop and do this. I get it all done, but it's just so much hanging on. It's so much. Okay, so can I make a suggestion? Please. Give yourself a gift. The biggest hole in people's lives is they don't spend time on themselves. I never do. Always working. You hear what he just said? Even when I'm not, I'm just always doing something. I don't solve the problem, guys. I solve why the problem is a problem. That's what we just did. He told me the problem. I told him why the problem is a problem. He's like, never. Right? He got it. Notice that? Stuff is just BS in your life. Like, start getting grateful for it. And your whole world is going to change immediately. And you're going to be like, I feel so excited. I feel so passionate. I feel, feel so strong. Instead of, I feel so stressed. I feel anxiety. Ugh. Like, it flips. Because what happens is you get stuck in a figure eight. What that is, is where you get super frustrated and pissed. Then you say and do some things that you shouldn't. And then you feel like, how, how on am I right now? <laughs> he's smiling. He's like, yeah, okay, he's got it. Spot on, right? Then you get pissed. And then you're like, ah, oh, and then you feel super bad. Yep. And you're like, yep, <laughs> you guys hear this? And then you feel super bad. And then you get sick of feeling bad because you feel vulnerable. So you get pissed off again. Because as soon as you get pissed, you feel strength, you feel energy, you feel certain you don't know what you're certain about, but it's there. And then you don't feel the weakness, but then you do or say, and then you feel bad again, and you just go boom, 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 boom. So let's break it, okay? Let's break it. It gives you mental and emotional fitness. And that's the fitness that takes on everything and doesn't even bat an eye, doesn't fall down. Because let me tell you, if, if I may, a true masculine energy, I'm talking about a masculine male. A true masculine male never, ever loses control, ever. Ever. It's center and calm. And I, inside I might be going, ah, like crazy, right? But outside I'm just like this. I'm fiercely calm. And it took me a long time to get to the point with all the shenanigans and the stuff that's been thrown at me from my ex, trying to eliminate me and erase me from my daughter's life. I can't be erased because I won't ever quit. Start recording your phone calls, inbound and outbound. I mean, look, if you're playing football or baseball or hockey or even a concert performance, Little League, you're, it's like, you don't need to film. Just, like, just play and have fun, right? But by the time, come on in, huh? By the time that you're playing at high school, if you're not watching film and breaking it down, you're going to get destroyed. And forget about it in college. And, and so that's what we do, is we do an initial training to give them the processes. And step one's hallelujah. Step two, all of me. You're giving them everything you got right at the start. Okay? Everything you got. Everything. You're staying engaged no matter what they say. Hey, I just want a price. We don't give prices. Click. Hey, I just want to talk to a technician. We don't let you talk. Click. Like you're losing all this business, guys. 
And don't go listen to the calls because you're going to be like, I just want to fire them. <laughs> right? You're just going to want to fire all of them. Train them, coach them, let us train them, coach them, whatever you're going to do. But look, you got to break down those calls. Sir, if you'd like to come in, you're welcome to. There's a seat for you wherever you'd like, okay? Feel free to. So train them, coach them, work with them. So you can listen to the calls, and, and if, you're, if you're a strong coach, then you're going to know that you can't just start picking them apart. Like, you got to build them up. You got to build them up, you got to work on them, you got to develop them. Tell them the things they're doing right, mix in something they're doing wrong. Tell them the things they're doing right, mix in something they're doing wrong, right? That's how people work. They get defensive and stuff. What we do is we'll do an initial training, give them all the steps, give them the processes, give them a blast of mastery, and then every two weeks over the phone, we'll go over recorded calls with them and, and coach them and work through their performance. So their growth just goes boom, 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 boom. The art of service is phenomenal. So I'll give you a quick example of a phone call that I took. Okay, uh, I'll, edit the, I'll edit the company name. Thank you for calling Totally Awesome Heating and Cooling. This is Jeremiah. How can I improve your day today? Improve my day, you guys effing suck. What's happening? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Three days ago, you came out to fix my AC system. It's blowing hot air. Now it's blowing hot air again, and it's leaking. Wait, wait, wait. Let me understand this. You called us to come out and solve a problem three days ago. Not only do you have that problem again, but now you have a new problem as well? Exactly. Okay, what just happened? Did he just agree with me? Interesting. Did I engage or withdraw? Did I give more or withhold? Is this starting to make sense? Was I passionate about his problem? Or like, hey, you suck, or hey, you know, go away. See that? So check this out. And then I flow into the next piece, which is let's go. So we have hallelujah, all of me, let's go. And I said, <clears throat> oh, that's horrible. I can't believe that. I know, right? Like I said, you guys suck. You're like, Jeremiah, why would you say that again? He's agreeing to you. Now he's saying we suck again. Let's face it head on. If you're in a martial art and you're sparring or boxing or wrestling and you're sparring, if you don't match the energy of the other person, you'll get hurt. Guaranteed. So I match it with intensity, but it's positive. I said, well, let me tell you why I've been in business for 15 years. And it's not because we're perfect. Believe me, we train to be, we practice to be, to try to be. The reason why we're business as long is because what we do when problems like this arise. In difficult situations, your fake friends disappear, your real ones on, on, are on the scene, they show up, we're that, you made the right decision, you're going to know you made the right decision, you're going to love this. We're going to take care of this right now. My only question for you is, when are you available for us to come out and make this right? What did he say? Uh, 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 uh. There's nothing worse. You want it to work. And it's all right. I know. Exactly. Well, we can, we can help you with that. You've called the right place. I'm the right person. This is the right place. This is the right time. This is my problem now, not yours, Tuan. When would you like me to take care of that for you? You see that? Just whoo. And they're like, oh, well, today, tomorrow, next week, yesterday. Not everyone says right now. What if help just meant connecting to someone and helping them feel better? Could it? Mm -hmm. So do it. You've already paid between $250 and $400 to get that dog on phone to ring. You might as well light them up and just keep, and help them. Whether it's Googling something, heck, making them smile, delivering a new thing, whatever. Okay? So this is a Shop on Fire Accelerator program. This is a piece of it. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for choosing to get more out of it. Have an awesome day, you guys. Thanks. And gal, yeah. take care. <clears throat>